All right, so to find the Flex project, you just need to type in Flex language into Google and it will appear here at the top. So if you just click on the link, it will take you to the Flex language website. And to find your Age of Globalization MOOC lectures, they are located here under the Law Collections in Flex because the genre of language um, belongs to social legal English. So just click in here and what I'm going to focus on in this first training video is the lectures themselves by Dr. Hoberman at the University of Texas at Austin. Um, so you'll see that they are arranged according to the weekly lecture releases through the MOOC with edX and let's just click on one of them here and you can see that the full lecture transcript is available in Flax and um, the video of the lecture is being streamed through YouTube. Do governments ever have the right to censor global media for what they regard as defensive purposes? Okay, so uh, the design here with the lecture transcripts being available in Flax is to link in other openly available data that can help you understand the lectures more comprehensively. So um, a nice feature is the Wikify feature. So what the Flex system is doing is it's linking in Wikipedia to Dr. Hoberman's lecture. So um, for example, Thomas Friedman is mentioned. And if you want to find out more about him, he's an American journalist well-known and also um, quite, quite an expert on globalization. So there's a lot of information about him there. So the idea with this feature in Flax is that it's going to um, gloss key terms, key concepts related to globalization. And you can just go through the area here and click on related links. We also have um, word lists. Just very quickly, 66% um, of the words in this lecture belong to the 1,000 most frequent words in English. We have um, general academic words, e economist, technology, versions, enabling. Uh, so those are across all genres of academic English. And then we have um, topic specific words. So these are the words specific to this topic of cyber censorship and political control of the internet. And you can see that very clearly, censor, defensive, filtering, authoritarian, fending off, endorsed, Chinese, Google China, so Obama and so on, totalitarian. So that gives you a nice idea really quickly of um, the key areas that Dr. Hoberman is referring to. And we've also got this keyword slider. So these words in blue are the most frequent words occurring in this lecture. If you move the slider along, more words in blue will appear. So you, you will know that the words at this end are the most frequent, and maybe they're the words that you might want to focus on initially if you're learning the language as you learn this MOOC with Dr. Hoberman. Okay, so just moving on, um, we've also got, uh, for those of you who are non-native speakers of English, we've got what we call part of speech tags. So we've got adjective phrases, defensive purposes, noun phrases, cyber censorship. And if you're interested in saving some of these, what we call collocations, which are just words that go together as phrases, you can click on this little cherry icon and it brings up a pop-up window saying add collocation and so you just go through and I think oh I like this one too media powers that's quite nice mass media that's quite useful too okay so I'm just going to add these collocations these phrases to my cherry basket and if you return to the top right hand um, area of your screen you'll see you have a cherry basket and that will be flashing to show that you've got cherries, those cherry-picked phrases there in your cherry basket. So that's, that's um, populating quite nicely and you can either print this out or you can save it as a web page, um, whatever you prefer. 
Also, if you want to look at the individual words that make up a collocation, so for example, if we go back to cyber censorship and we're more interested in finding out more about how this word censorship is used across the English language. So here we've got uh, more collocations, so censorship issue. Um, so we've got three um, collections we can look at here. This is a British English collection. I'm going to switch it to a contemporary English um, collection derived from Wikipedia, which is a larger collection. And we can see here we've got censorship laws. Um, you can take a look at those and it gives you a frequency number how many times they occur in the collection and then it gives you um, an idea of how this word censorship is being used in real context. Okay, so we can uh, see censorship used as a noun, related words from Wikipedia. So when people talk about censorship, they quite often talk about speech, control, communist, information, writer, inappropriate, press. So there's a lot of really useful words that are coming up in relation to censorship um, that are useful for you to know. And then there's a def definition taken from Wiktionary. And then once again, related topics in Wikipedia. So freedom of speech, uh, freedom of the press, obscenity, um, internet service providers. So lots of really relevant information linked to this word censorship if you want to you know drill into the lectures and the language that dr hoberman is using